Merge Tables wizard will help you whenever you want to bring updates from one table to another. Say I regularly get tables listing actual products in stock from different shops. I have a master table that summarizes information about all our products. Whenever I get another file, I need to compare the product IDs, update product names and numbers, and add any missing information. Let's take a closer look at the simple steps you follow. Once you install the add-in, you'll see its icon on Ableplit's data tab in Excel. The very first thing it offers me to do is pick my main table. This is the master table that you want to update. The add-in will pick the range with all data, but you can always change it right in the field or by clicking this button. Since undo is not available for add-ins, we always recommend creating a backup copy of the sheet. Next I select the lookup table that I want to check for updates. It can be in the same or in a different spreadsheet and you can edit the range as needed. Step 3 allows us to define key columns for comparison. What has to stay the same in my tables is the column with IDs. So I select it to compare the IDs in my main table to the IDs in the lookup table. I go next to choose the information to update. When the product IDs match, I want to get new prices and product names from my lookup table. So I tick off these two columns and choose where to look for the new information. Step 5 shows us all remaining columns in my lookup table that I can add to my master table. As I don't have the column with the department in my product list, I'm going to introduce it by selecting it here. This means that when the IDs match, Merge Tables wizard will add the corresponding department names into a new column. You can fine-tune the merge process on the last step. Let me briefly describe the options you get. Non-matching rows are new records you have only in your lookup table. If I want to add new IDs to my master table, and I do, I select this box. The next option allows me to deal with duplicate IDs. So if there is more than one occurrence of the same ID in my lookup table, instead of ignoring it, I can add it to the end of the main table or right under the same value. I can also add a new column that will show me the status of each row as updated, non-updated or new. When you pull new information from your lookup table, you can choose to leave all existing records and fill only the empty cells. Also, you can avoid copying blanks over with this setting. Finally, highlighting cells is really helpful as it shows you all changes right away. Click Finish and instantly get all the updates in your table. Of course, you can use a heap of formulas to get the same results. But the add-in does a really great job of automating the steps and avoiding any errors that could creep in when laboriously writing the lookup functions. If you have any questions about it, please contact us on our forums or at support at ablebits.com. Thank you for your attention.